Hello everyone, today I'm gonna talk about QAnon, the internet cult that thinks that Trump is the messiah. QAnon is a far-right conspiracy theory. It alleges that a cabal of Satan-worshipping pedophiles is running a global child sex trafficking ring and plotting against US President Donald Trump, who is battling against the cabal. The theory also commonly asserts that Trump is planning a die of reckoning, known as the storm, when thousands of members of the cabal will be arrested. No part of the theory is based on fact. Although preceded by similar viral conspiracy theories such as Pizzagate, the theory proper began with an October 2017 post in the anonymous image board 4chan by Q who was presumably a single American individual. It is no likely Q has become a group of people. Q claimed to be a high-level government official with Q clearance, who has access to classified information involving the Trump administration and its opponents in the United States. NBC News report that three people took the original Q post and spread it across multiple media platforms to build an internet following. Q has accused many liberal Hollywood actors, democratic politicians and high-ranking officials of being members of the cabal. Q also claimed that Trump feigned conspiracy with Russians to enlist Robert Mueller to join him in exposing the sex trafficking ring and preventing a coup d'etat by Barack Obama, Hillary Clinton and George Soros. QAnon adherents began appearing at Trump re-election campaign's rallies in August 2018. Bill Mitchell, a broadcaster who has promoted QAnon, attended a White House social media summit in July 2019. QAnon believers commonly tag their social media posts with the hashtag where we go one, we go all. At an August 2019 rally, a man warming up the crowd used the QAnon motto, later denying that it was a QAnon reference. This occurred hours after the FBI published a report calling QAnon a potential source of domestic terrorism. The first time the agency had so rated a fringe conspiracy theory. According to analysis conducted by Media Matters for America, as of October 2020, Trump had amplified QAnon messaging at least 258 times by retweeting or mentioning 150 QAnon affiliated Twitter accounts, sometimes multiple times in a day. QAnon followers came to refer to Trump as Q. The number of QAnon adherents is unclear as of October 2020, but the group maintains a large online following. In June 2020, Q exhorted followers to take a digital soldier's oath, and many did, using the Twitter hashtag TakeTheOath. In July 2020, Twitter banned thousands of QAnon-affiliated accounts and changed his algorithms to reduce the theory spread. A Facebook internal analysis reported in August found millions of followers across thousands of groups and pages. Facebook acted later that month to remove and restrict QAnon activity, and in October it said it would ban the conspiracy theory from its platform altogether. Followers had also migrated to dedicated message boards such as Nchan and 8chan where they organized to wake information warfare to influence the 2020 United States presidential election. The conspiracy theory has been widely characterized as baseless and evidence-free. Its proponents have been called a derangent conspiracy cult and some of the internet most outre Trump fans. The theory is disseminated mainly by supporters of Trump, who refer to the storm and the Great Awakening. QAnon precepts and vocabulary are closely related to the religious concepts of millenarianism and apocalypticism, leading it to be sometimes construed as an emerging religious movement. QAnon adherents 
while seeing Trump as a flawed Christian, also view him as a messiah sent by God. According to Travis View, who has studied QAnon and written about it extensively for the Washington Post, the essence of the theory is that there is a worldwide cabal of Satan worshiping pedophiles who rule the world, essentially, and they control everything. They control politicians, they control the media, they control Hollywood, and they cover up their existence. They will have continued ruling the world were it not for the election of President Donald Trump. Now, Donald Trump, in this conspiracy theory, knows all about this evil cabal's wrongdoing. But one of the reasons that Donald Trump was elected was to put an end to them. And now we will be ignorant of this behind the scenes battle of Donald Trump and the US military were it not for Q, who reveals details about the secrets behind the scenes battle, and also secrets about what the cabal is doing and also the mass sort of upcoming arrest events through these posts. Followers of QAnon also believe that there is an imminent event known as the Storm, when thousands of members of the cabal will be arrested and possibly sent to Guantanamo Bay prison or to face military tribunals, and the US military will brutally take over the country. The result will be salvation and utopia on Earth. 